Hey everyone, how's it going? Into Weapons back again with you. Have a really cool gun show find to share with you guys today. What we're looking at today is a Chinese Type 1 AK-47 bayonet for a milled AK-47. So a little bit different than your standard AKM bayonet. Uh, I believe this particular bayonet's for a Polytech rifle, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So if you guys have any additional information, I'd, I'd definitely love to hear it. As I mentioned, I found this at a local gun show a couple of days ago. As I was walking through the tables, a collector was there with numerous AK-47 bayonets, which caught my attention, and I kind of walked over. As I approached, I noticed that most of the bayonets were standard, readily available AKM bayonets that uh, you know you can get for about $20-$30. Uh, this particular one jumped out at me just because of the unusual way it was shaped and the way that it attached to the rifle, again being different than your standard AKM bayonet attachment. Um, because of that, I, I pretty much knew at that moment that it was for a, a milled AK-47, um, but only knew that much at the time. I asked him how much he wanted for it. He said $30. You know, after passing, because I, I really didn't want to spend $30 at the gun show, uh, I thought about it for five minutes, realized how much of a stupid mistake that was, and uh, proceeded my way back to his table and made that purchase for $30. Very glad I did. Come to find out it's a rare and valuable bayonet, made in China again, uh, most likely by Polytech, and it's worth probably at minimum $100. Uh, they're very hard to come by. I couldn't find any retailers that carry them uh, on the secondary market on auction blocks. There's very rare that have previously sold, uh, or very few I should say, that previously sold, and there isn't any currently that I can find for sale. Uh, so again, very rare, hard to find um, AK-47 milled bayonet, so kind of cool to come across something like that, especially for a good price. Uh, that's why I really love gun shows. You can kind of go there. A lot of people don't realize what they have, and sometimes you, when you're buying it, you don't realize what you're buying, but uh, you can really come into some good things if you kind of know what you're looking for and, you know, what to keep an eye out for and what's, you know, uh, decent quality and what's poor quality, that kind of stuff. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any rifles that this particular bayonet will work on. Uh, I mean, this is, uh, for, again, for a milled AK-47. It's got to have that, you know, that special lug on there. Um, hopefully someday I will, but you never know. Uh, I do have this Chinese milled Mac 90. It's from Norinco. And I uh, just recently picked this up. This is my most recent uh, purchase to the gun collection. I've done a video on this, and it's actually been a pretty popular video. It looks like a lot of people are interested in these Mac 90s. Uh, I don't know if the, the mill makes a difference or not for the search terms or people's interest, but uh, it's, it's actually been, like I said, a pretty uh, significantly viewed video of mine. Uh, but unfortunately, this particular Mac 90 doesn't have the necessary bayonet lugs on the back here, which is uh, really just, it holds the cleaning rod, and you can actually see the, the remnants of this here, uh, but it kind of goes, wraps around the, uh, the, the uh, cleaning rod that would normally be in here, but then on the end here is just a couple tiny little lugs that stick out, or ears, and that would uh, slide and then lock into uh, the front of this bayonet here. So I'll show you, as you put it over the top of the, the muzzle there, uh, you would slide it backwards, and it would just um, essentially lock in, I guess, but... Uh, this particular one, again, doesn't have any type of lug to lock into. And I guess I, I thought originally it would go back to here, but maybe that's not the case. Um, so as you can see, it, it holds on there, but if you were to yank somebody, it's obviously going to come right off. So uh, if I don't end up, if I end up keeping this bayonet for the collection, which is most likely, uh, it'll probably end up going towards a D-band project, I'm kind of thinking, for this milled Mac 90. But not 100% sure yet this, this uh, Mac 90 is new to my collection, and obviously this bayonet's new to my collection. So these are all just you know plans floating around in my head because I'm excited. Uh, but all, otherwise, uh, really excited to have it part of my collection. It's a really cool bayonet. Uh, as you can see here, the wood on it is just really cool looking. It's got a really gorgeous color to it, as well as some really good... Um, uh, wood grain there, some patterns. Uh, it's in pretty decent condition. I don't uh, see any real wear marks on it. A little bit on the the um, blade here from going in and out of the sheath, but I don't really see any type of dings or uh, nicks out of the blade, which is really nice. It hasn't been sharpened, which is awesome to see. A lot of people end up sharpening these things and just destroying the value of them. Uh, but this one's a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, uh, example of what a uh, Chinese, most likely Polytech. Uh, AK-47 milled bayonet will look like. And as far as I understand, the AK-47S uh, and some of their other variants that uh, you know you could buy readily available back in the 90s came with this in the box. Uh, so if you have a Polytech rifle, you're probably familiar with this if you have the box and all the original accessories with it. Um, but overall, really nice. Really, again, happy to have it in the collection. If you guys have any further information on this, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, uh, as always, I appreciate watching. Until next time, take her easy.